cardio so the I figured that since everything's gonna be coming hard and fast so to speak over the next few months that whenever I have I guess major changes in my mower lineup or like I do do a trade or whatnot I just kind of wanted to give you all kind of an inside look again my the videos that I film are about a month ahead um, so some mowers you're not going to see until probably April um, so that's why I want to kind of give you all like a little bit of a real-time update as to what I am selling um, and then it kind of gives you a preview as to what you will be seeing on the channel over the next month or so. So I'm going to continue to do the Wednesday Sunday rotation um, as long as I've got enough content um, and so you'll see at least every Wednesday and Sunday a video of a repair at least until the first of April I'm sure I'll have more content ready by then because I've got stuff waiting in the wings over here. So real quick update since the last time I joined y'all uh, earlier this week two mowers are gone, two riders are gone now one, if you follow me on my Instagram page, you've seen one of them leave already. Um, and you can follow me there at Ellis Mowers 09 or uh, on Facebook as well. Or you can just search Ellis Mowers and that'll find you or find me on there. Um, if you like the content, just give it a follow. Also, give a subscribe or a subscription to this if you like it as well. LT4000, the 38-inch cut. Gray Craftsman is gone. The one that uh, I got a while back, it was the sister of this one, the 16-horse Briggs, um, is gone. Uh, and I'm about to show you what I traded it for. I did a two-for-one trade just to give you a hint. Uh, I'll tell you what happened with these. I haven't put these for sale. I'm listing this one today, putting a tire tube in that one, and hopefully we'll have that one listed today. The Troy built's in the... Um, the the shed beside here uh, i'm going to get to that and i'm going to see if i can drill out that uh low side jet on the carb so that hopefully it stops surging as bad and as soon as i do that i'm listing that and it's going as well um, i'm going to put a fuel pump on this one because whenever i tried to crank it up yesterday it ended up uh, not getting any gas I ended up having to take the fuel pump off and uh, clearing out some debris in it actually is what the issue was but the the gaskets and whatnot are just worn for me taking it off a couple of times i also i don't know how i missed this earlier but i also found out that the thing didn't have a fuel filter on it which was probably contributing to the issue i also threw another battery in it because i think the starter's a little weak on this or this might i think this whole thing's a little bit hard to turn uh, the new battery fixed that issue. I'll put this other battery, which is only about a year old, into a, another mower that's a little bit easier, more free starting, but that works fine. Again, the tire tube on the Murray, this one's ready. I had to, what I ended up having to do is I had another tire that actually would hold air, even though the tread's not the best on it. Um, so I just did that as a quick swap with however, with how quickly things are going. I could have put a tube and stuff in it, but I wanted to get this one listed today. Um, also, I had to actually adjust the deck back a little bit, just to, just about four or five turns, because whenever this tire was uh, turning all the way to the left, there was a little bit of play in the steering, and whenever I tried to turn it back, um, it was catching on the deck. It's not doing that anymore. This one right here, I'm pretty sure needs a PTO clutch adjustment, because it would, it would start and... The PTO would work when it was cold. I didn't have an issue with it not restarting or just seeing like seeming like it was dead. So um, hopefully the my cleaning of the PTO fix that. But I just I think I just need to go down there and adjust the clutch because it will engage when it's cold. It won't when it's hot. Did a little bit of YouTube research and it seems like those are adjustable and uh, it just needs tightening up a little bit so the magnet picks it up turns the blades and somebody will have a very nice mower with this one um, I'm sure this one will sell within hours of whenever I list it um, probably gosh I might list it for if the steering wasn't so loose on it it'd be like a 650 or so I might list it for six I definitely will get listed for no less than 550 all right let me show you all the trades that I got because that's the reason I wanted to do this vlog so to speak 
Um, again, I sold the 16 horse or the yeah the 16 horse 42 inch cut Briggs uh, um, that y'all saw months ago, and these are the two that I traded for. Believe it or not, um, a two for one deal. Uh, I feel like I got a good end of the trade here. Uh, this is a they're both twin cylinders, and they're both Craftsman's obviously. Um, and both of them have some sort of transaxle issue with them. Now, the first one here, I'll do this one first, because it's, it's it's nice. I remember seeing this one on Marketplace, and I actually had it as a saved item. Um, because it was a twin, he didn't want much money for it. It was in decent shape. I mean, look at the uh, seat on it. I think this hood actually came on this mower. I don't remember the difference, but... Either way, this is, um, let me show y'all, this is 18 and a half horse V-twin. He cranked them up for me. He showed that both of them run. I can probably show y'all that they both run here right now. So that one runs. Um, the issue with this one is I don't think the guy adjusted the adjusted the um, transaxle right because apparently he put a transaxle in it. Um, it's got both of them have the big back wheels and big back tires and stuff on them too um, because it basically travels one speed. And the weird thing is when you press the clutch in, this one it free wheels. Or actually, when you release the clutch, it free wheels. See that? Actually, well, whenever you press the clutch in, it free wheels. I'm sorry. So I don't think that's adjusted right either. So, something's not quite right. I, I don't think it's a bad transaction. So I just think it's misadjusted. Because it will run to run one speed, and you just can't, like... It's not catching gears or anything. And it won't go into reverse either. Actually, I think it just did. Or So we'll see about this one. Um, hopefully, hopefully this ain't the transaxle ain't shot on it. I don't think it is. Because it is catching right there. It's just not switching gears. And then if somebody that only halfway knew how to put a transaxle on it, put in it. They probably didn't do it right, so I'll have to, it'll be something new for me though, so I'll have to undo that. This one is a, I think this one's had some work on it as well, and again, they're just a little dirty. They're not in terrible shape, thankfully. Um, I've got to put some hood brackets on it. I have the deck for it. Let me sit y'all down for a second if you don't mind. And so this one was actually listed as a 20 horse V-twin, but apparently I guess somebody put a 19 and a half opposed twin on it, which I'm not complaining about that. Um, this one also starts and runs. I don't have the battery for it, but I did hear it run before I got the old battery, just for a core. Um, hydrostatic transaxle on it, and uh, when they got it, they said that um, for some reason it stopped working or didn't work. Uh, they were going to venture to try and fix it, but they never did. Um, I'll show you the deck in the back of the truck here in just a second, but um, I'll show you what I believe is wrong with it, and I know that will need to be fixed. If you look under here, you see that pulley right there? So that's one of the drive pulleys for the transaxle, and it is missing a chunk. So I think putting a pulley on it will fix that issue. These guys had it... I mean, I get, you know, the father and son, they were um, just wanted to do like a father-son project just to see if they could get it going. They took the whole back piece off, which I have, so I'm not worried about that. The, uh, the transaxle is locking and unlocking like it's supposed to, so I'm not worried about that either. 
Um, I'm really not worried about this one. It's just in shambles right now because I took it all apart. Um, but I'll put a pulley on that one, and I'll show you all that I have the deck over here as well. Um, again, they both run. They both run pretty good. It sounds like this one needs a carb cleaner, just some sea foam or something. Um, and I'll show you all the in the truck over here. That I have the deck for it and I have the back piece for it right there and right there um, and all the hardware associated with it so let me know what y'all think of my trade deal um, I had that other one listed for 375 with hopes of getting you know like 325 to 354 um, again coming up pretty soon because I've got all the push mowers ready to go um, I'll be working on this weed eater here. Um, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue to get going, but it has this, it has the steering issue with it, so um, I'll have to fix that, which will be a first for me as well. Other than that, it's in very good shape. I think it'll run good, and uh, we'll see. Uh, I might try and tackle this craftsman here first, because just because I believe, I really think it's an easy fix um, with the transaxle and whatnot. So we'll see. Um, I'm just grabbing my bearings and whatnot, and then we're going to start working on some stuff and see what we can do. So just want to give you all a quick update of what's going on, what y'all think of the trades, and I hope that y'all's season has started off to a quick start like mine has. I wasn't expecting to sell two riding mowers the first week in March within two days of each other. So... Um, Shows you that's going well so far. This one's leaving today. Um, this is the one I told you it was already sold whenever I got it fixed because um, somebody was looking for a self propel with a Honda engine that um, got one from me last year and um, one of his family members wanted one similar. I didn't get, I sold him a Black Max, which is kind of an MTD product. This is one of the snappers. That, that's the, I guess the HOP. I used to call them AYP, but one of the Husqvarna products that they sell. So, thank you all for watching. Um, as things change, I'll give you all more vlogs. But, uh, catch, catch the new video out this weekend. And, um, be dropping on Sunday at 8. And I will catch you all then. So, here's some uh, unexpected bonus content. To the daily vlog here or the day's vlog i'm probably not going to do one of these every day that's it gets kind of exhausting when you have a full-time job and you're trying to fix all these mowers anyways i uh, was not expecting to get a trade on that one that i sold to the um guy um that i knew from uh, the church that we go to uh but i did and it is a troy built uh self propelled I think they didn't put the, like, this one doesn't have, like, the, you know, TB200 or whatever it is. But it's the big wheel, front drive, self-propel. It's a little older. It's probably 2011-ish. Let's see. Yep. 11, 2011, 720. So, we're getting close to 10 years old. He told me that the um, self-propel stopped working on it. And, uh, so I was like, okay, um, so he's just going to give it away. He was ready for a new mower, so uh, he just gave this one to me. Um, turns out, and I can show you all if y'all would like, the self propel just needed a, i have to tighten those bolts up too, but. The self propel just needed a cable adjust, believe it or not. And so, let's see if I can get it. Uh, let's see if I can find my camera stand over there. It's over there. So, let me just start it here real quick. I'm open this door because I actually got the garage door closed. Not dying of carbon monoxide today, nor shall we ever. All right, here we go. So, uh, 
probably just going to need, I mean, it started on the third pull, and honestly, it's probably going to need an oil change, or it will need an oil change. And I'm probably just going to need a blade. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it'll need a sharpen, blade sharpen, but other than that, it's good to go. Um, I'll have this one ready in the morning, probably, and we'll list it for 100 and... Uh, I'll probably list it for 140. Probably will get 120 for it. So, extra extra content for the vlog here today. Um, again, at Instagram and uh, Facebook, Ellis Mowers 09. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video.